Now if you come across this radiator issue where it's cold at the top and warm at the bottom, then that means there is air that is trapped and needs to be released, which in another term it's called bleeding. Now before carrying out this task, you must turn off the central heating. Get yourself one of these radiator keys. They cost about one pound. Grab yourself a cloth if you need to as some water will escape. Insert the key in the valve and slowly turn anti-clockwise. You'll start hearing a hissing sound. Wait until all the air has been released. When you get water escaping, immediately lock the valve. Now check the boiler, see if the pressure has gone low. If it has, then increase the pressure in between 1 and 1.5. Now switch on your central heating. As you can see, this radiator is getting its full stable heat all across. So you might be asking what if it's cold at the bottom and hot at the top. Well this is because you might have debris and contaminants that has built up and settled at the bottom of your radiator. A few methods you can try is a chemical flush. You can also try taking off the radiator and gushing water through with the hose pipe, which will do the job. Basically the inside of the radiator needs a good clean. Also it's recommended to get a magnet filter installed that captures all the bad stuff your pipes and radiators don't need, which helps your radiators working efficiently. Take care. Peace.